is the dawn of the new era. <laughs> there is a more important assignment for you. This is your partner for this assignment. No, 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 no. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi everyone, welcome to yet another time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. We'll be reviewing the Nigerian movies, the 2021, it's a 2021 Nigerian movie. Um, with um, its director as Kayo De Kasham. It is known as Dwindu. It has um, actors and actresses like Funke Akindele, uh, Pisolai Ayola. It has um, Brother Shage, as Jide Kene, Achifose, Timini Ibusun. So of other actors and actresses, too numerous to mention. I uh, Dwindle, like I said, is a 2021 Nigerian movie. I saw it last year in 2022 on Netflix. <sighs> okay, um... It has to do with it has to do with um these two police officers um Funke Akindele and um Bisola Ayala yeah who are you know assigned as details to the governor um for his soft um shadowing um while he meets with some people and has fun and in that instance in that particular location he was kidnapped and um, incidentally, the governor's son was Timini Ibusun. Now, Timini Ibusun, you know, was supposed to get, you know, arranged a contract, a job, and did everything, brought it before his dad, who took it from him and gave it to another person. So I think um, Timini Ibusun was upset, he was bitter, and he was already owing some some people money for developing that plan or something along this path and um, he sought to get the money back he had no way of getting the money back he hired um, these people to kidnap his dad the governor and um, for a ransom now Timini Ogosun kidnapped his dad through these people Brashage we have um, Jide Kene Achifusi, who are friends and um, <laughs> living together. Proshagi was, you know, patching. It wasn't his apartment, but Jide Kene Achifusi was his friend. So, you know, they had no job. Jide Kene Achifusi was, um, his job appointment was terminated. He couldn't pay his house rent. Their landlord was, you know, um, on their head to pay and they kept giving promises and all of that but well what happened finally was was that um by stroke of well, I or pro, uh, luck or providence they took a car wanted to make some money from the car like you know do some uber get some pay and along the way took this um kidnappers who were I think uh, Zoa Rukwe and one other person and after that you know who asked to be stopped somewhere to get something and along the line they put something in the car money in the car and also the kidnapped governor at the back of the car that's at the boat and um, along the line they discovered the gun and they ran away the people were chasing them and now they were stuck with the governor they tried to call the gun the governor tried to call his son his son was like eh, where are you you know and he was so he was miffed that his father was still moving around he hadn't gotten any money and then he sent new kidnappers to go kill him or something along that path i don't know and then there's Funke Akindele and Bisola Ayola who were blamed for the kidnapping of the governor and um, were held responsible and were trying to were trying to find evidence to show that they were not the ones responsible and they had no idea about the kidnapping of the governor and um, you know they were all in it. So we had two people scrambling left, right, and center. 
um, that is Jide Kenachi Fusi and um, Broshagi on the one hand, and then we have Funke Akindele and Bisola on the other hand, and then we have the stress of Timini on the other hand, and then they all meet at the same place, and, and you know, everything went down in <laughs> Kaede Kashum. This is not good at all. It is not good. Okay, first of all, where am I supposed to start? This movie gave me headache because it was too childish. It was too annoying. It was too not coordinated at all. I just felt like seeing Funke Akindele, seeing Bisola, seeing Jide Kene, Achifuse, seeing these serious actors and actresses, um, a lot of them, they, they, you know, something would happen and um, something obviously did not happen. So I'm just going to pick um, things I can pick and um, conclude. Now, in terms of cinematography, it was um, below average. It was just there. Um, average, I'll just say. It's not below average or above average. It's just there. You know, the sound was okay. Um, the lighting was all right. Um, what can I say? Everything was okay, but the plot was a huge no for me. It was a huge no. I don't know the need to, you know, gather actors and actresses and put them in front of the screen and um, for the viewers. And I, I don't know what, you know, the director, the producers wanted to achieve with this movie. What, what, what is the message that good that um children from good homes can still do bad things or what exactly i do not know i do not understand plus even that name dwindle because um um brushage kept on saying i would dwindle you not dwindle and it was just annoying it had no focus it had no real meaning it had no no reason there was no reason for this movie to find its two legs towards Netflix at all for, you know, viewership. It was annoying and I just kept asking myself what I was watching. Funny enough, this movie, I'd seen it, the day it came out, I saw it for like 20... I saw it for like 10, 15 minutes and I paused it. And I didn't go back to see this movie again till like maybe one or two months later. It was that bad, you know. And me reviewing it, I think something is also wrong with me as well. So I'll be rating this movie. I can't even talk I, I can't even talk about the the acting skills of Funke Akindele, I don't know what they were doing there. I cannot even talk about it. I can't dignify, I can't dignify their acting with any th description whatsoever. Or Bisola Ayola. Sometimes Bisola Ayola, like, um, I think this girl called Life or something like that, that movie, she did so well that sometimes she's really good, you know, with her role. Um, and then there's some times that I just wonder why she would take up a role and um, the reason, like most times I wonder why don't these people read their scripts and, you know, understand like, see, I can't do this, um, and, you know, um, this is not just me or what uh, what message are we trying to pass across to the audience? You know, you should ask yourself those questions sometimes. You know, so I'm really not impressed with everybody from the director to the producer to the actors and actresses to the plot to anything that happened there. I am just not impressed at all. I'll be rating this movie a 2 over 10. Come and beat me in my house because this movie is not even supposed to be rated. It's, 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 it's annoying. It's annoying. Sometimes Brashage annoys his acting skills. is I just wonder. And then sometimes he's okay. So at other times he's not okay. I don't know what to I don't know what to say. Okay. So thank you so much for doing this with me. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn off your post notification button to be alerted when new videos come your way. Up there you'll see my Korean movie review, my Chinese movie review, my Nigerian movie review, and then again my movie review. We're getting there, yeah. Okay, this is 2023. I promise to be better. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Bye, 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 bye.